an object is moving on this curved path so which of the following quantities may remain constant a speed b velocity c acceleration and d magnitude of acceleration okay the answer would be a and d look speed can remain constant speed of course can remain constant velocity can never remain constant because even if you make the magnitude of velocity constant still the direction would be changing because each time you're going on a different path on a different line if you're going on this curved path the point direction to which you would be pointing would change continuously so the direction of velocity would change continuously velocity cannot remain constant acceleration oh no velocity is changing its direction acceleration would also change its direction you know because there are two components of acceleration one is along the velocity and other is perpendicular to the velocity this is tangential acceleration and this would be centripetal acceleration okay now even if you make the tangential acceleration constant centripetal acceleration will never remain constant because it will always be perpendicular to the tangent and that direction would keep on changing so acceleration cannot remain constant total acceleration cannot remain constant magnitude of acceleration yes magnitude of acceleration can remain constant because <clears throat> magnitude would depend upon the velocity and the radius of curvature and the angular velocity and we can adjust all those things to keep acceleration constant but the direction would keep on changing so acceleration as such cannot remain constant its magnitude can remain constant okay Suppose there's a disc and it is rotating and there's a point, this is the center, there's a point P and there's a point Q on a same line like this. There's a point P on a disc and a point Q on a disc. This is the center of the disc. Now regarding P and Q, I'm giving you four options and you tell me which of them, which of the following can be correct. Both have same acceleration. Both do not have same acceleration. Acceleration of P is greater than acceleration of Q, and D acceleration of Q is greater than acceleration of p this is easy so tell me which are the correct options the first thing is acceleration of bo them both p and q cannot be the same so p is right and acceleration of p will be greater than q so c is right how because the tangential acceleration is equal to dv by dt and centripetal acceleration is equal to omega square r now first thing you need to appreciate that the omega of both p and q will remain this will be the same omega of every point on this disk will remain the same will be the same because omega is change in angular displacement upon time taken imagine the disk starts to revolve and p and q starts from this position and the disk completes one rotation so p starts from here completes a circle comes back q starts from here completes a circle comes back when that happens the angular displacement that p and q had occurred or the angular distance that p and q have traveled is 2 pi for both for any point for this 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 each point on the disk will cover a di angular distance of 2 pi when one rotation has occurred and they will cover it simultaneously 
when p comes at the original position q also comes back at original position so the time taken for them are the same the angular distance traveled are the same so the angular velocity of all the points in risk are the same so omega are the same for both but the radius p is traveling on this circular path q is traveling on this circular path the radius of p is higher so the centripetal acceleration of point P will be higher. Centripetal acceleration of Q will be lower. Okay. Now, <coughs> tangential acceleration is R into alpha. We have seen this before. Out of the four relation, this is the second. Now, R, alpha is the angular acceleration. Angular velocity is same. Similarly, angular acceleration of P and Q will also be the same. The tangential acceleration of P again is higher because the radius of P is higher. The radius of the circular path on which P is moving is higher. So the tangential acceleration and centripetal acceleration both of P and P will be higher than Q. That will make the acceleration of P higher than Q. Okay. Okay. Now I'm giving you an easy one and you must get this right. Now in a uniform circular motion, quantity that remain constant, A, linear velocity, B, acceleration, C, centripetal force and D, speed. The answer is the, tell me the answer is it is it is D velocity come on velocity cannot remain constant because in a circular motion the direction of velocity keeps on changing acceleration cannot remain constant because the centripetal acceleration direction keeps on changing I told you it's uniform circular motion so there will be no tangential acceleration centripetal force no centripetal force is always towards the center direction keeps on changing so the force keeps on changing force is a vector quantity speed uniform circular motion speed remains constant was an easy one? Okay.